Welcome to part number 38 and the grand finale of Need for Speed Underground. This is the Moving Chicane, and today we're going to go and face off with the Good Samaritan Challenge, which I forget who has Samantha's car. Uh, don't tell me. We'll know in a minute. And then Eddie, then Melissa. So let's do this. Oh, it's TJ. Ooh, TJ has Samantha's car. Okay. Wow, TJ, after all we've been through together, buddy. After all we've been through together, bruh. You're gonna take my girl Samantha's car? Come on now. That's not cool, dog. Dude, he messed up that car so bad. I should feel bad for Sam. All right, here we go. Let's get our girl back. Five laps around the circuit track. Well, so far, TJ is just getting smoked. Oh, I went a wide body kit for the. Oh, this is the race you won the wide body kit for? That's cool, but like, with two races to go. I kind of wish I got it earlier, but hey, can't complain. It's a free bo wide body kit. Well, I just sabotaged my own second lap, although TJ took the slow route for whatever reason. Both kids look good on the S2K. Alright. I don't really remember which, um, I don't remember what the body kits look like on this car. I know it's, uh, Mantis and Vapor, I want to say? It's basically the first two kits that are in Underground 2, because the other ones are like Apocalypse and Armageddon, I think. But yeah, I know it's the first two body kit names in Underground 2 in this game. See, I reference Underground 2 because that's the one I played more. Although it's not the one I've beaten the most in the series. That's NFS Most Wanted, where I beat it over 10 times. So I just noticed the music is gone. There's no music playing in the background. Um, so this entire LP, obviously I've, I've been playing on a, a dual screen monitor or dual screen setup, I mean, for my PC. And because this is an old game that really, Windows XP computers back in the day, I don't think they did dual screens. I could be wrong on that. But mainly not for gaming, not for like a streaming setup like we do nowadays. Basically, the game in the menu, it, it, re it renders at 800 by 600 resolution, and then in-game, like actually when we're racing, not in menu, it renders at like 1024 by something else, like 960 or some shit like that. Basically, the, the window, the resolution changes, and it messes up the whole game. So what I have to do is I have to alt-tab out of the game, and then alt-tab back into it. That's why whenever you guys are watching me live on YouTube do this races... That's why you see me hit the reset button because the music the music wouldn't play. I kind of found a workaround by alt tabbing immediately when it happens, and then the music stays. But in this particular case, it didn't work, which is fine. I'm not gonna restart it because the music's not playing. There's always a risk of getting it detected by copyright, anyways. Ooh, TJ's now giving us a challenge. All right, hey, what's up, LT? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. This race has been really easy so far. It 
jab the brakes because I do not want to lunge myself into the other side of the intersection. Hit the brakes because I do not want to risk crashing. Race is over. There we go. Baby girl, please forgive me now. We've unlocked Melissa's 350Z. Ooh. Wide body kits. Let's let's get her price. Ah, uh, she has nothing to say to us. Okay. So that's Vapor. That's Mantis. Ooh, Mantis. No, Mantis, hands down. Please forgive me now. All right. Music is gone from the menu for whatever reason, I guess because of cutscene. The game is not over yet. <laughs> we still have two more races to go. But yeah, there's our sexy, sexy S2000. Pretty much fully riced out. Five stars. All unique parts on there. Rims, spoiler, body kit, and hood. Anyone less playing Underground deserves a sub? Ah, oh, thank you very much. I'm actually doing a Need for Speed Marathon. So Underground 2 is next, then the Most Wanted, then Carbon. The Wrath of Eddie. The second to last race of the entire game. Thanks for getting my ride back. You're welcome. Things are sure different now. But I see that with you, it's all about racing. That's all it's ever gonna be. Unfreaking believable. Stuff Magazine is doing a feature on street tuners. Want a picture of your car with a hot chick on the cover? Yeah. Win. Let's go. Here we go. Proves you're the hottest driver. Eddie in his whack-ass skyline. Me and my beautiful rice style S2K. Let's do this. Have to hit the nitrous. Get a really good head start. Proves to Eddie that I'm no pushover. That's a sprint race. The Wrath of Eddie. Okay. Um, okay then. Well, Eddie just completely killed himself there in the sewers. I don't believe that's the end of the race because we could screw up and then the rubber band can kick in. But if that's the end of this race, like if I win with the same gap, that's pretty much like the most anticlimactic ending to an NFS ever. Well, I say ending, but yeah, I mean, if this was the ending of the game, this would be the most anticlimactic finish ever. Oh, really? You've never seen anyone use an S2K? That was... Not what I was expecting. <laughs> wow. Okay. That was the last thing I was expecting to happen. Sup, Melissa? Legend of the Street. Whoever's driving that mean 350Z wants to take you down bad. Don't let it happen. Well, um, my first attempt at this race was terrible. I completely threw away an easy win by making a silly mistake right before the Chinatown entrance. So yeah, attempt number two. This race isn't that difficult, but yeah. We're just gonna try again anyways. We have to, we have to finish this game to continue. Rest in peace at last lap, pretty much. The story of my life. Mm. 
stat wise is pretty terrible and race stuff even on hard mode is pretty easy. I've raced harder your Yeah, the URLs are just ridiculous on hard mode, dude. Like the only way you can win them is by riding the walls and using nitrous. Some the airport ones oof. They're the worst, man. Oh, I know, dude. Like, the, I'm not sure what you mean by an HQ style. But, um, I think you mean, like, comic book? I don't like the comic book cutscenes, honestly. Like, playing it at first, it's pretty confusing. And I think the, one of the biggest problems with Underground 2 for story is this. It, it's mainly the fact that in this game, there's not really much of a story. It's just, you're in the underground and you have to take down the East Riders and Eddie's posse. That's pretty much it. It's pretty cut and dry. Pretty clear objective. But in Underground 2, it's like, you're supposed to know that... I didn't even know um, Caleb's group was called the Wraiths until I watched um, Color Shed Productions review. And even then... Even then, the cutscenes are a little bit more in-depth. In underground 2 and there's so little of them that once you get to like stage 3 you completely forget about a lot of the story and then all of a sudden they throw in there like Caleb's trying to mess with sponsors with the URL like okay it's like if you guys know this information then why are the sponsors still paying Caleb Melissa died there. Good. Anyways, like, why are the sponsors still paying Caleb all this money if they know that he's rigging races? Like, if you're gonna have a story that has a little bit more uh, depth to it, then you need to make it more logical, you know? Like, it needs to make a little bit more sense. Like, I know most, most one of story doesn't really make sense. You know, it's like how you know, like how how the hell can these cops not catch all these street racers? Yeah, it, stuff like that, you know. But I know it's all I know it's a video game, but still, at the same time, it's like Underground Two story was just too confusing for me. But I still love the game, nonetheless. I just like Most Wanted more because I feel like, as cheesy as the cutscenes are in Most Wanted by today's standards, I feel like Razor as an an enemy and per an antagonist. I must say protagonist as an antagonist of the series or of the game in general is done right you know he messes with your m3 in the beginning and that objective of trying to climb your way to the top and take him down it gives you a motivation you know like the whole caleb caleb messing with sponsors thing it's like i don't care i just want to go race Okay, let's make sure we don't die this time, like we did in the previous attempt. But seriously, we threw away that race, not even at the final corner, but here on the final lap at this section right here. And we crashed so hard that we ended up flipping and going into a fake shortcut. I say fake shortcut because it wasn't really a shortcut. Okay, I think there's no traffic from here on out. Oh, I know, dude. If the Honda S2000 did make it into Underground 2. And also for the Integra Type R. For the, you know, the DC5 Integra. That would have been amazing. There we go, guys. We did it. We beat Need for Speed Underground. Let's hit continue. You did it! I can't believe it! You won! You won! <laughs> Is that your fantasy?
Congratulations, you have completed underground mode. Everything is now unlocked in quick race mode. You must create a new driver profile to start a new underground mode. Yes, it is time for LT because in my pre first attempt of the race, LT said a wide body neon is ugly. So, I'm not sure about that. And my suffering? How about no? You know what, just for this, let's go drifting with the neon. Let's do 10 laps, you know what, cause why not? Pure ricerism is coming through my eyes, send help. <laughs> oh, listen to that sound. Dude, this car is so terrible with drifting. Holy crap. I know it's a front wheel drive car, but still, like, dude, this car is so bad at drifting. Jesus Christ. Dude, and the wheel spin is <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> You're lucky I didn't choose Vapor. I know. I, I thought you unlock everything once you beat underground mode. That's the thing. I'm surprised I don't have everything. Unless it's an, only an underground 2 slash most wanted where... You get the unique, all unique parts at the very end of the game. As opposed to what you have in the career mode. Well, apart from drifting this god ugly, god awful Dodge Neon, there's really not much else to do in the game. There's really nothing else we can do. So, yeah guys, that's the end of the Let's Play. Not insult because front wheel drive is insult for every single human being on earth. That's the end of the let's play, everybody. Thank you so much for everybody who tuned in from the beginning to the end, who watched this let's play. Once again, my name is the Moving Chicane, and I will see you guys in Need for Speed Underground 2, where we continue for the second part of our Need for Speed Marathon.